Hello there, students. Welcome. This is Professor Ian Charles Scott, and this will be the first introduction to me uh, for you. I welcome you all to the Fall 2020 Painting and Drawing classes. And these are beginners classes, so please do not stress, do not worry. Everything will be done in a nice, even, steady, tranquil atmosphere. And uh, I trust that you learn something. As you probably have been getting so many emails from me all over the summer, you'll be sick, fed up of seeing them, asking for your home address, asking for your uh, phone number for texts, asking for your uh, correct email and all that stuff, because I want to get in touch with all of you and I want to do it in the most practical way possible to teach art. So uh, that is really by you sending me images after I send you these YouTube videos every week. And uh, it works, you know, it's remarkable. And you can text and email me or contact me in any way that you want 24 seven. And I will respond as soon as I get your messages. Send me photographs by phone or by email, or you can write. For the attendance, all I require you to do is make sure that you email me the date and your name every week. Then I'll know at least you're paying attention to what I'm saying. I know these are tricky days for all of us, but we're going to do our best. So most of you by now will have received an envelope in the post that I sent. It uh, also came with a, uh, hopefully by now most of you got the free art pencil. <clears throat> it's a softer pencil than normally used in offices. It's a 2B which is a very good pencil for sketching with. Not too hard, not too soft. Inside the envelope will have been my card, which has got my uh, emails, phone numbers. And then you'll have this list of stuff here. Uh, this is actually on the blackboard, but some students contacted me to say that they couldn't open up the attachments. And I apologize for that. It may be that I use Apple computers and that the CUNY system is fixed up for uh, a different form of uh, PCs and uh, it can be tricky. Some students managed to get them opened. So just to make sure that you all were able to read it, I sent these out by United States Parcel Ser uh, Postal Service. So it's got uh, the basics my name, the email, the name of the course, description. Students will produce two paintings. Basically, you're gonna get two paintings done. Hopefully you'll manage to do them. And one is of the face, your own face, a self-portrait, where I'll teach you about the proportions of the face. It's not that we love our faces, it's just that they're there and, you know, we see them every day and we have thoughts about them, <laughs> obviously. So it's nice to see that, and uh, you may never do a self-portrait again in your life, but it'll give you a sense of it. And uh, then we do another painting, which is from your imagination. It can be whatever you want, as long as you put some effort into it. Not just kind of copying a cartoon or something very simple, but actually something personal, you know, and there's information on the sheet about that. I'm not gonna read it all out and bore you, but people can use, um, you know, photographs and solid objects and make something and create it. And, uh, you know, in the first section of the class, I'll be teaching you about shadows and how to make things look 3D and realistic. And then you can apply some of those things to the second painting. You know, not everybody's great at art, but some people from this class really do, all, you know, get the bug and become great. And uh, it's all in there. Now there'll be a second page with a schedule, which, to be quite honest with you, you know, is something that we will try to keep to, but we won't always. I'll, 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 uh, if students are not able to do work quickly enough, you know, we'll, we'll kind of slow it down a bit so that they can catch up. So, you know, it should be kind of more or less going with these week one, two, three, four, and 15. 
but it's art. It's not in mathematics or an English class where everyone is getting graded A, B, C, D and E all the time. It's art where it's about you, you the individual watching this right now and how you are inside yourself and how you communicate who you are in the way of using creative art. That's the important thing about it, not the conventional type of class. So that's basically going over that. There's another sheet of paper as well, which will have uh, art class supplies. Now I've already told most of you by email that Blick in Harlem, which is a new art shop beside the Apollo Theatre, <clears throat> if you know Harlem, it's, and if you don't know Harlem, it's the Apollo Theatre, it's world famous, so you can't miss it. And they will have a special art box made up for my students, Hostos, Professor Scott, mention those things. It's an art box. I think it's usually about $120, but it will be 42. So that's a hell of a good saving. And it should contain all the stuff I've got here. They may have different types of paint, but I've asked her to get all the similar stuff. Uh, the only things, um, I'll show you what they'll have. They'll have this paper palette, which is going to be something like that. It'll be probably a different type, but it's basically that. You hold it like that. Here's one I've been using. You can see it's covered in paint. And once you're finished using it, you simply just tear off a sheet and dispose of it. Uh, it's easier than using the wooden palettes because it's less messy and you don't have to use up a lot of paper cleaning it. It's just the one sheet, so it's pretty environmentally friendly. So those are the paper palettes. Now the second thing on the list is the blister pack of hog hair brushes, which will look something like that if you are buying it online or from another store. It's the cheapest way to get a whole pile of brushes all at the same time. Um, this one is uh, just a general generic bunch. Actually, this is a really nice set. I think I bought them from eBay for about eight or nine dollars, including postage. You have to, if you're going to do it online and not get the R box, you're going to have to kind of fiddle around to try and find the best bargains. And uh, that's them, you know, so they're hog brushes. You can see the hairs are made from pig hairs. And uh, they're pretty good, you know, for basic beginners to get a lot of brushes like that for a very cheap price is fantastic. So they'll be in the black box, but if you're not getting it, they look like that. And you can see them online. Then a small synthetic brush, because you're going to need one that in that blister pack, they don't have brushes that are suitable for um, detail. So you'll have this small brush. And with that, you can create little points of detail. Say if you're going to do the white of the eye, a little dop like that, and you're in, or you're going to do eyelashes. You don't do those at the beginning of a painting. You do it at the end. I'll talk about that later but you'll need one of these. So it's a small one. This one is by Blick. They should have that in the Blick pack. And this is a synthetic brush that comes to a point. This is one number four. So they're good. You need a brush like that that can come to a point. So something that you can do detail with. Then the canvases. Now, if you can't afford canvases, don't panic. Um, not everybody can. They will come in the blister, in the um, Blick art pack. But uh, a canvas, here's one a student had from a few years ago. And she painted this landscape on it. Quite nice, of um, cows just sheltering you there at the side of a rock. And uh, there it is, you know, and this, these are fairly cheap. Arcadia. So that's basically the canvas and if you can get the sizes I mentioned that's good. If you can't find those sizes just get any sizes as long as they're not too small or too big. Uh, if you can't afford the canvas you can paint on anything. Here's a painting that's on cardboard. This is a big sheet but if you've got an old piece of cardboard 
you can paint on it, cover it with white paint and then just paint on top of it. It's just as good. There are many museums all over the world that have famous paintings that were just done on cardboard and no one can tell the difference, you know, so cardboard lasts as long as anything else and if you can't get cardboard you can use acrylic paint on paper, you know, but try and find paper that's not just the small pieces like this. You can use this computer paper at the beginning of the class for sketching when we do the face use that pencil but if you're going to be getting paper try and find a little bit bigger sheets you know if possible there's probably a way of getting some piece of paper wherever you are just now that's a little bit bigger you know say about 12 inches by 14 inches something around that uh, the paint I've got Reeves here. Uh, I think the black boxes will have different paint uh, individual tubes. Reeves are good. You can buy those online. I bought this from eBay for about, it was $10 including postage. This is enough to keep you going. There's 12 tubes of paint in there. And you can see it ranges from, uh, they, they arrange them from kind of light to darker colors here and they've got the white, yellows, reds, blues, greens, a darker yellow, this is yellow ochre, brown and black. So it goes the whole spectrum of colours here. And those are pretty good acrylics, I like them. They're very good. Acrylic paint we're using because if you're in the house, the smell of oil paint, especially if you're with your parents or you don't have an apartment that's too big, the smell of oil paint can be overwhelming, the turpentine, so acrylics, we just use water, and uh, I'll go into that in a minute. So the, these uh, reeves, if you find them online, they come in different sizes. And again, you know, you're just going to have to Google around and find the best prices. This one has 18 tubes. So this is the standard 12 tubes. This has 18 tubes. So, you know, obviously more colors, and, you know, it's more better range, but you can basically survive with this. This is slightly better. And here's a, <laughs> here's a really deluxe one that I think I got also to show you from eBay. And I think I only paid about $18 for this lot. And uh, it contains a lot. Let's see what's in it. It's never been opened, folks. Uh, here we are. <laughs> so here we have them. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 12, 14 tubes of paint, plus a little palette. Not that great, because it's small. But you get a pencil, a kind of thin brush, pencil sharpener, and an eraser. And that wasn't too expensive, this one either. But you, you know, it's like eBay, you just have to see what's there if you're going for that, or Amazon if you have that, you have to see what's there. <clears throat> but don't spend too much on it, because like I said, Blick Harlem, after the 14th of September, we'll have art boxes specially for you that will contain everything that I've talked about, except for two glass jars. Any old jars, da, 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 or any old containers, one for water, both are for water. One is for cleaning water, dirty, and the other one is for painting water, which you try to keep clean. So two jars of water is all you need cups and acrylic paint will get on your clothes and it will be difficult to remove if it dries so I recommend something to cover your clothes with you know an apron here's one that's been well used you can see it I used to walk around the college in this and I can tell you you used to get some really great looks in the elevator and uh, on the steps it was quite something, you know, and uh, I used to tell people, like, oh, I, they say, oh, do you teach art? I said, no, I teach hygiene and cleanliness, you know, so I used to get some laughs. But uh, some old shirt, some old apron, something you can put on that will protect your clothes from getting messed up while you're doing this because it's painting, it's messy, you know, gets all over the place. So that's the first talk and uh, I will be going into lots and lots and lots and lots of more stuff as the weeks go on. So, you know, your main thing is to email me and text me and I'll teach you all individually. And uh, it worked last semester brilliantly. We had some fantastic artists 
really great work and because I'm going to be responding to you all day, all week, you can contact me anytime it's at your leisure and I will respond to you because I love teaching art and I like people and I want you to have a great time. Now, is there anything else I didn't say? No. That's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.